Robert Joseph Highland. When you asked me to write vows with you, I initially had my reservation. And here's why. The minute you started talking about what you envisioned we'd write in one another's vows, I had already thought the same thing as you did. If you're laughing, it's because I know you're remembering how you literally said, I wonder how much of what we wrote would be linear to one another's. Which is why I'm so glad I'm going first. <laughs> As we continued on with our writing, I found myself shaking my head and smiling internally because I knew that even through our process of writing these vows, it was just another testament of how compatible and unbelievably inseparable you and I have been from the start. It did not take long for us to realize that the two of us thought a lot of the same thoughts, felt the same feelings, and shared the same values and interests. Rob, you are my person and there is so much to appreciate about you. You're kind-hearted, considerate, and you think you're funny, which is so cute. <laughs> Your family is the most important to you, and that includes mine, which you have accepted as your own without hesitation. You want the best for people, and you're meticulous about it. You pay attention to what others want for themselves. You take into account both sides of the story, you're careful, and you treat people in the manner in which they self-determine. You are selfless. You are the person that I can be at my most vulnerable and feel safe. I can cry my ugliest and still be beautiful. I can feel the least confident yet assured. I have been at my worst and have come out of it to be my very best. And it's because of you and how well you love me. You're holding back, wanting to make that one face that you make with your shoulders shrugged and with your hands out like this. <laughs> what? This guy? <laughs> As if you're in disbelief. And I want to thank you for keeping it together. <laughs> I want you to know it, and I want you to own it. This is who you have been for me. On this day, and for all of our days spent together, I promise to you, to continue to support you and be alongside you through endeavors, our adventures, and whatever our future brings us. I promise to comfort you through pandemic, adversities, and trying times. I promise to hear you and be whatever you need me to be for you in the moment and moments moving forward. I promise to love you just as well as you love me today, forever and always. Caitlin Plata Sonido. As I stand across from you this day, our wedding day, I am filled with love and gratitude. Five years ago, we were both presented with an opportunity to enter each other's lives without knowing where it would lead. From that point forward, it was clear that given any circumstance, we would continue to choose one another. From that fateful day at the Iditarod ceremonial start downtown to right here in this moment, the first time I outwardly recognized the true extent of my feelings for Caitlin was during our first summer together. We were staring at the top of a tent after having climbed to the top of Mount Marathon in Seward, and we were recounting the day and our other recent travels. Uh, as the conversation continued, I could not help but try to express how I felt about Caitlin. However, I continued to say I was not sure how to best describe it. After several failed attempts by myself, Caitlin was quick to say, Rob, I'm pretty sure what you're trying to describe is love. Since that time, the years have served to further teach me on a deeper level what it means to love a partner through times both good and bad. And I know that the years to come will continue to provide these lessons as we move through different phases in life. What gives me confidence is that we both took the initial spark and turned it into a foundation built on learning, growth, communication, and a steadfast dedication to our relationship while still maintaining that same intense feeling of connection. Caitlin, I love that we can laugh together even when we're in pain. I love that you're there to support me in my successes and when I make mistakes. I love your smile. I love how much you care about family. I love that we can have tough conversations and come out stronger on the other side. I love your sense of style and how excited you get about interest in your life. I love you, and every morning I wake up, I'm grateful and happy to have you inside. 
I vow to be wholly committed to you and to our marriage. I vow to be your protector, your lover, and your partner, no matter what comes our way. This ceremony marks the next step in our journey and the recognition of the strength of our bond. I view today as an affirmation that given to any of life's challenges, we will continue to make a conscious choice each and every day to honor our commitment to one another, and our marriage will enable us to weather any storm. I love you with all my heart, and I'm excited for the future that we will By the power vested in me by the state of Alaska, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Rob, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Here, buddy. Thank you guys. We're married. Oh. Could you guys hear it a little better? I know it was kind of windy. But I love you I love you guys so much. Of course.